Empty marquees and locked up theaters this Christmas Eve. It's been 10 months since they closed and 10 months of no work. CBS News Marie Saavedra live to show us how some in the industry are reinventing themselves. Really forced to, Marie. Absolutely forced to, Brad. You know, historically, Christmas time is such a busy time for theaters, not the case this year. And for all of those people who are on stage or behind the scenes, it has made them look for other ways that they can work. I think, like most freelance workers, I had, I think, about four jobs in March. An actor's life requires hustle, and Lydia Hiller had it. Until the pandemic put everyone's performances on hold. In the before times, I used to do murder mystery shows and caroling gigs and other performance things, and there's a lot of those around the holidays. This year, theaters are as dark as the job prospects. It's really a bummer that I can't do those things that I used to do. I really enjoyed them, and like that was a, where a big chunk of my income for the year would come from. So Hiller got creative, as creatives do. And at the pole, he has a... What animal? Does Meet he Ginger Snap the Elf. Horse. A horse? Okay, he has a horse. Straight from the North Pole to Chicago, willing to Zoom and sing for a fee with kids and kids at heart. This is what so many have had to do. Costumers are, you know, making clothes and masks and aprons and people are making jewelry. And, you know, these are really... Um, talented craftspeople. Deb so, Clapp is the executive um, director of the League of Chicago Theaters. She says the lack of productions has hit the entire industry hard, especially during what would normally be a busy Christmas time. I don't know that there's any theater in Chicago that hasn't had to, you know, make significant cuts. So everyone from the box office to backstage is finding other ways to stay afloat and pay their bills until we're filling seats again. I mean, they're just so resilient. That's what really, for me, is the is the good part about it. Penguin. A penguin. He in Hiller's penguin. case, she's found a way to keep entertaining. What do penguins do? Because an audience is an audience. Uh, waffle, waffle, waffle. Waffle. Even waffle. Waffle. if it's Ooh, on good. Zoom. With the uh, waddle, waddle, waddle here. Uh, Ginger Snap did have some calls this afternoon and a socially distant caroling job this evening. Hiller says that these jobs will tide her over for the next few months, Brad. Good for her. So did you get a sense, Marie, from either her or the League of Theaters on when they think we'll be back in these venues actually seeing performances, full crowds? I was surprised they both had the same answer to this. They talked about how this summer they do expect to see a lot of what we saw this summer, which were outdoor performances. They are keeping their fingers crossed that people will be back in auditoriums fall of 2021. Okay, got a little bit. We can make it, though. Marie, our thanks.